Hi there and welcome to another video. This is Jennifer McGuire and I hope you're having a good week. Today I am sharing with you some card ideas using the new Lawn Fawn Reveal Wheel die set. Now, I usually don't do videos that are based on a particular product. However, I thought this one was so creative and there are so many fun ways to use it that it was worth doing a video for. I'm going to show you how to do a basic reveal wheel card and then some clever alternatives just so you can get new looks from the same product. So this is a reveal wheel card and there's this little wheel on the side and you spin it and you can see different messages or images pop up in the little window. These are so simple to make and you can use them with many products you already have, but we're gonna start with the basic one first. This is the Lawn Fawn Reveal Wheel die set and this includes all the pieces that you need to make one of those fun spinning cards. Now you see this little piece right here, that cuts like a little arch window for a sentiment to rotate around. However, you can get add-on dies that cut different shaped holes. One is for a speech bubble and one is actually an ice cream cone topper that goes with an ice cream cone stamp set. So there are different options. Now I'm only using that arched one that comes with the reveal wheel die set today. And then I'll also create my own windows to show you some alternatives. So here is the first card. You can see the little arched window there. So we're using the dies that are included in that reveal wheel die set. I'm starting by cutting one of the large pieces from the reveal wheel die set from white cardstock. You could use any die cut machine and any cardstock. Then I'm going to use this same die, but pop in that little puzzle piece that cuts that arched window. So it just fits right in there and then I can run it through my die cut machine again. So those are the two pieces you get. And I like how that little die fits like a puzzle so you can use other dies that they offer like the ones I showed you or other ones that they'll come out with in the future. I'm also cutting the two circle dies that are included in the set and we'll set those aside for later. I'm using images from this new fun W plus nine stamp set and I'll stamp these right under the front of our reveal wheeled card. I'm using my stamping tool to save time. I'll stamp a flamingo and then the words you are so right above that arched window. And I'll show you what stamp set that is from in a moment. Next, I use my coordinating die for the flamingo to cut from this Avery removable adhesive sheet. This will create a mask to go over our flamingo so that we can do additional stamping. So I'm placing this mask right over the flamingo. Normally you would stamp and fussy cut or hand cut out your mask so that the edge of the mask lines up with the edge of the stamped image. But that would take a long time with this image. So instead I'm using the coordinating die and then we'll fix the masking a little bit later. So I stamped a palm tree here and a palm tree there until I was happy with the results. Now I'm going to remove the mask and we'll just use a black pen to connect those stamp lines. Since the mask that you cut with the coordinating die is actually bigger than the flamingo stamp image itself, you need to continue those black lines with a black pen, but that's very easy to do and a lot faster than cutting out a mask by hand. So now I'm just doing some quick coloring on this and I wanted to mention to you to check out the 30 day coloring challenge that my friend Kathy Rakusen is doing. She's by far the best coloring expert out there and she challenges everyone just to do a little bit of coloring like 10 minutes a day and for 30 days and she's got a great community over on Instagram encourage you to check it out. I'll put a link below. It's very inspiring. I've learned so much about coloring from her. After I did my coloring, I decided I wanted to stamp some little seagulls in the background. So I'm using an older Simons's stamp stamp set that has these perfect seagulls. And I'm stamping them with a new Gina K Sea Glass ink, which is my new favorite color. It's just beautiful. Now it's time to put that reveal wheel together. And I wanted to show you the pieces and how they come together. Once you do it once, you'll be set and you'll be able to do it over and over again very quickly. I'm impressed with how well thought out this die set is from Lawn Fawn. It makes it easy and you don't have to measure. Let's start with the wheels themselves. The large wheel die has embossed lines that it creates on the die cut and we'll use those as a guide in a little bit. 
Then there's also a smaller die that cuts a little circle with a hole in the center also. You're going to connect these two circles with a mini brad. I just got some from my stash and I'll link to some below. And you put those two circles together. Next, we're going to put some foam adhesive squares on the little circle. Make sure that it doesn't touch the brad or the big circle. You want to be able to spin that freely. So you have this uh, foam adhesive tape exposed. You want to flip it over and take the other side of the wheel and line it up with the arched window. Now remember how there were those embossed lines? We want to make sure the embossed line is just above the top of that arch window. So you don't want to see it through the window. And you also want to make sure that there on the right, you don't see the embossed line over there either. So it lines it up perfect. That's why those embossed lines are really helpful. You just want to make sure you don't see them through those windows. Now you're going to hold that to the back of the reveal wheel front and lay it down centered right onto the reveal wheel back. And that adheres it perfectly in place onto the back and you can see it spins freely. Now it's time to add our little images onto the reveal wheel, whatever you want to show through the windows. I'm using sentiments from this Lawn Fawn Reveal Wheel Sentiment Stamp Set. That's where I got the other sentiment that I put on the front of the card. But we need to plan out where we're going to stamp our messages on the wheel to make sure they're spaced nicely, to show through the window nicely. So I'm putting little tick marks with a pencil at the 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 9 o'clock points of that circle. You just eyeball it. It doesn't have to be perfect. So on the left, the right, the top, and the bottom. Now I'm going to hold the front of our card right over top. And we're going to turn the reveal wheels till we see one of those pencil lines. When we see one of those pencil lines on the right, we're going to trace a pencil line through the window. So we know to stamp there. Now we're going to rotate it more till we see another pencil line to the right. And then trace in the window again. And we'll do this for all four positions. I learned this trick from Kelly over at Lawn Fawn and it really makes positioning your stamping on the wheel very easy to do. So now we can take our wheel off of the brad, we can put it back on later with no problem, and add our stamping. I'm using my Misty stamping tool simply to save time, but you can use an acrylic block. I put four arched sentiments from that Reveal Wheel sentiment stamp set that I just showed you, and I'm stamping those with black ink. You could use any sentiments, but these are positioned perfectly or sized perfectly for the reveal wheel. After you erase your pencil lines, you can put the reveal wheel right back in place, right onto the brad, and it's time to glue the card together. I'm using foam tape all around the wheel. Just make sure that the foam tape does not touch the wheel. You want the wheel to move freely. Foam tape is best here. It allows that wheel to move nicely. Once you have your tape in place, you can take the front of your card and position it right on top, lining it up on the edges, and there you have your reveal wheel. So easy to do. Once you've done it once again, they come together very quickly. I created a top folding note card that is four by five and a quarter, and I'm gluing the entire re reveal wheel piece, that's really a tongue twister if you say it too much, right onto the front of the card. Next, I'm stamping an arrow over on the side so the person knows which way to rotate it. And that arrow stamp is in the Reveal Wheel Sentiment Stamp Set. So here is the completed card. You can see how easy it is to rotate it to show the different sentiments that are included. The arrow makes it very obvious to the person to turn it, and it's really a fun way to create something a bit different. And there is room on the inside to write your personal message. At the end here, I decided to add some shimmer to the flamingo because why not? And it just adds a little bit of sparkle. I also stamped Happy Mail on the coordinating envelope. And that is from an older Lawn Fawn set called Love Letters, one of my favorite all-time Lawn Fawn sets. And we'll use this again later in the video. So this is a basic reveal wheel card. I used the dies that are provided by Lawn Fawn and that work perfectly and make it very easy. However, I wanted to see if I could create my own window shapes for a reveal wheel card. This time, I'm going to use a heart die, and I'm going to do that on a trophy so I could create a fun Father's Day card where when you spin it, different words show up on the trophy. And surprisingly, it's very easy to do. 
Again, I'm using an older Lawn Fawn stamp. This is the Puns Galore stamp set. And I'll use the words from this and the trophy shape. Now I dug through my stash and I found a small heart that fit nicely on that trophy. This is from a Concord and Ninth die set. It happened to be in my heart section of my dies. And that little heart there, it is perfect size for the trophy. So here on the right, I have a die cut that I created using the reveal wheel die set. And that's that arch window die that I cut in it. I'm tracing that onto my pool colored reveal wheel piece. By tracing it there, I know where to position my heart die, where to die cut it. So that window is positioned perfect for the reveal wheel that we'll put right behind it. So I'm putting the top of the heart right at the top of that pencil line for the arch window. I'll tape it in place and run that through my die cut machine. Then I can erase the pencil lines and I know that my heart is positioned perfectly for a reveal wheel card using the other dies from the Lawn Fawn set. So I stamped a trophy and colored it with Copic markers. And now I'm coloring the inside of my reveal wheel circle, the large one, with the same color Copic marker so that inside the window matches the trophy also. Next, I am using that same heart die to cut from the center of the trophy. So this will line up around the window on our reveal wheel card. After I die cut that, I use the coordinating die to die cut out the trophy itself. Now I have this trophy die cut and the heart window will line up with the heart window on the front of our card. Now on the card itself, I stamped Happy Father's Day that greeting is from an older Lawn Fawn stamp set. This is the Lawn Fawn Dad and Me set. The stars that I stamped repeatedly in the background are from a Simon Says Stamp Seen Stars stamp set. You could save time and use a background stamp here if you wanted to. Now it's time to put the reveal wheel together. I covered the front of it and the trophy with some shimmer pen just for some sparkle. We can attach the two circles together with a mini brad once again. Make sure the gray side with the shimmer is facing up here so it's on the side where the brad splits apart. On the other side, on the little circle, we're putting foam tape. Now we'll hold this behind the window and make sure that those embossed circle lines are just above the heart and just inside that little notch on the right. Then we'll place that onto the backing, remove the front, and we have our reveal wheel per perfectly positioned. I'm again using that pencil trick where I put a pencil mark on the top, bottom, left and right of the reveal wheel. And then when those little notches are over on the right side, I will trace inside the window exactly like I did before, but this time I'm tracing a heart instead of that arch shape. Off screen, I went ahead and stamped words into each of those traced hearts and erased them and then put them back onto my reveal wheel card. The words that I did say the best dad ever. I put foam tape around the wheel and then I can add the front right back in place. Now I put this on a card and I use a little die cut arrow on the right to point to which direction you should turn it. As you turn it, you see the words the best dad ever. And I thought that was a really fun, unique card and the heart shape was perfect on this trophy. So by using small dies you already have, you can combine that with the reveal wheel set from Lawn Fawn and get different looks. Now earlier I showed you the Love Letters stamp set from Lawn Fawn that I really, really like. And I wanted to do a reveal wheel card with different messages coming out from the envelope. So I used a square die to create the window. Once again, I have die cut a piece with that arch window. That's the one that comes with the reveal wheel set tracing that onto another panel. That will help me guide where to put my little square die. I lined up the top of the square die with the top of the arch pencil line. And then I ran that through my die cut machine. I also stamped an image from the Love Letters stamp set. And after I had stamped and colored it, I die cut that same square from the center. Now I can glue this right around the square window I also stamped images on the background from that same stamp set. Now I'm taking the two reveal wheel circles, putting them together with a mini brad, putting foam tape onto the smaller one, 
Now lining it up with the window, making sure that that embossed circle on the reveal wheel circle isn't showing either through the square window or over on the right notch. Pressing it down onto the back of the reveal wheel card and then removing it. I again can do those little pencil marks at the top, bottom, left, and right. Put the front in place, trace a square, turn it until I see one of the other pencil lines in the notch on the right, and trace another square. And do that for all four positions. Again, this helps kind of guide me to where my stamped images can go. Now I'm stamping a few different images from a couple different stamp sets. We have the Lawn Fawn uh, Reveal Wheel Sentiments on the left. Then the Tiny Tag Sentiments on the right. It's another older Lawn Fawn set. And those both have small images that work great in that small little window. After stamping in each of those pencil lines, I erase the pencil lines, put the Reveal Wheel back onto the mini brad, and then put the foam tape around it. Now we can put the front of the card in place. This is the same process as I did before. I'm just trying to save some time. I glued a little die cut heart right onto the front of the window and I colored it to match. And then I stamped a little arrow over on the side so you knew which way to turn it. I covered my heart with some shimmer pen and then some tonic crystal glaze so it would have a little bit of shine. And there you can see how when you turn the side, you see different little messages. And one of them is a smiley face heart that matches the card nicely. Now you could put anything you want in this little window. As long as the window's small and the images are small, the sky is the limit. Now Lila and I started another card. She wanted to make one, but we didn't finish it, but I thought I'd show it to you. This uses the Mama Elephant Little Monkey Agenda stamp set. So we stamped little monkeys into the reveal wheel so they peek through that circle die cut window. Around the circle die cut window, we put a frame from Lawn Fawn. It's a Lawn Fawn die. And there you can see how you can use little images to make a fun reveal wheel card too. So I encourage you to check out this die set. It's really fun. If you don't have the die set, you could play around and probably make your own, but it's a little tricky to get everything to line up just right. And this definitely makes it easy. I hope you'll check out my blog also. I have more information there. You can also check out the videos in the middle for some other interactive card ideas. I list all of the products that I use below in my YouTube description. I appreciate you spending time with me. I'll see you again very soon and have a great day.